The North American Nebula was discovered by William Herschel in October of 1786. It was first photographed by Max Wolfe in December of 1890. The best time of year to observe it from the northern latitudes is during the summer months. The North American Nebula is a large emission nebula located in the vicinity of Deneb, the brightest star in Cygnus. The nebula is famous for its shape, which bears a striking resemblance to that of the North America continent. It occupies an area of 120 by 100 arc minutes and has a visual magnitude of 4. It lies at an approximate distance of 1,600 light years from Earth. It is listed as NGC 7000 in the General New Catalog. The North American Nebula is part of the same H2 region as its smaller neighbor, the Pelican Nebula, IC570. The two nebulae are separated by a molecular cloud of dark obscuring dust. They are both located in the Orion arm of the Milky Way. The identity of the star that ionizes the nebula's hydrogen was long uncertain and suspected by some to be Deneb, as the North American Nebula lies only three degrees east of the bright star. However, it is the hot, massive sixth magnitude binary star, HD 199579, that is responsible for setting the nebula aglow. The star is also known as Miro's Diamond. The dark nebula that lies in front of the North American Nebula and blocks its light coming along the east coast is known as LDN 935. The portion of the nebula that exhibits the most concentrated star formation is called the Cygnus Wall. It spans about 20 light years and appears as a W-shaped ridge in the part of the nebula that resembles Mexico and Central America. Well, hello everybody, and uh, thanks again for tuning in. Well, uh, it's no secret, uh, <clears throat> based on my introduction, that uh, I got a chance to get out, and uh, my target was a portion of the North American Nebula, uh, specifically the uh, Cygnus Wall. Uh, this is one target that's, uh, that's fascinated me. Uh, I've seen photographs that uh, other astrophotographers have taken of this particular target, and uh, it's something I've, uh, I've been wanting to get. Uh, I've noticed that when a lot of astrophotographers take portions of the big picture, in other words, the large nebula, there generally are individual uh, sections in this nebula that have a, a very distinct point of interest. And uh, the North American Nebula is, uh, uh, is no exception to that rule. Well, uh, I got a chance to get first light with a uh, scope that I purchased a few months ago, and uh, it's the Explore Scientific AR-127. Okay, uh, it has a focal length of uh, 826 millimeters, and uh, this particular scope was just perfect for a nice tight shot of the, uh, of the Cygnus wall. Now I did photograph, uh, actually the prior to this, the uh, North, uh, North American Nebula as well as a portion of the uh, Pelican Nebula, which is adjacent to it. And uh, I'll be processing that pretty soon and posting that perhaps in the weeks to come. But uh, at the moment, this particular target uh, uh, was pretty interesting and it was definitely on my list. Uh, I was able to, the weather held up and I was able to get six hours uh, of exposure time on this particular target. And uh, what unfortunately, uh, uh, it was about a 90, ooh, probably about a 98% full moon. But uh, fortunately, I was using the Optolong uh, L Extreme filter, and uh, it really minimized uh, any of the problems uh, with that. So, as I said in a previous video, uh, if you've ever used a uh, 
the Optolong L Extreme filter. It's 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 really a godsend, and uh, without it, it would have been very difficult to get the results that I got for this particular target. All right, um, and uh, as I said before, uh, I suffer from a pretty high degree of light pollution. I'm in a uh, oh a class border eight uh, zone where I live now. I'm only like. Uh, I'm only about 10 minutes uh, from the uh, from the center of the city where I live, so uh, light pollution filters for me are essential, and uh, they've come in handy and they've worked flawlessly for me. As usual, I used a uh, uh, astral photography tool as my uh, as my capture software, and uh, and plate solved. As I mentioned in my previous video. I used uh, telescopius.com to actually frame my target prior to actually uh, actually photographing it and uh, everything worked out very well. So without further ado, I'd like to show you the finished image. <laughs> 